in this first question, we're being asked to work out 352, take away 138. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to line up our numbers. So we've got 352. And we're going to take away from that 138. So I've lined up in columns my ones with my ones, my tens with my tens, and my hundreds with my hundreds. And now we're ready to take away. So we start with the smallest column, which is the ones. And I've got two take away eight. Now two take away eight will give me a negative answer. So I don't want to do that. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to steal one of the tens. So I've got five tens at the moment. If I take one off, that becomes four. And I'm going to add that ten to my ones column, which gives me twelve. Twelve in my ones column now. So I can do twelve take away eight, which is four. In my tens, I've got four take away three which is one. And in my hundreds, I've got three take away one, which is two. So my answer is 214. In the second example here, we've got 5,426 take away 928. So 5,426 and we're going to line up hundreds with hundreds, tens with tens, and ones with ones. 928 has got nothing in the thousands, so I can either add a zero or leave it blank. And now we're going to take away. So we start with the smallest column, which is the ones, and I've got six take away eight. Now I don't want to do that, so I'll steal one of the tens, and that's worth ten in the ones. So 16 take away 8. I can do that, that's 8. In the tens I've got 1 take away 2. Again I don't want to do that so I'm going to steal one of the hundreds and that's going to be worth 10 in the tens. So 11 take away 2 now which is 9. In the hundreds I've got 3 take away 9. I don't want to do that so I'm going to steal one of the thousands, and that's worth 10 in the hundreds. So 13 take away 9, that's 4. And the thousands, I've got 4 take away 0, which is 4. So my answer is 4,498. Okay, there's a question for you to try here. So pause the video, give it a go, and press play when you're ready to carry on. Okay, first step, we're going to line up our numbers. So we've got 3,715, take away 683. So I've lined up my ones with my ones, my tens with my tens, my hundreds with my hundreds, and my thousands with my thousands. I've got nothing in the thousands column for one of the numbers, so I can add a zero or leave it blank. So now we can take away. We start with the smallest column, which is the ones. We've got five take away three, which is two. Now the tens. I've got one take away eight. I don't want to do that, so I'll steal one of the hundreds. And that'll be worth 10 in the tens. So I've got 11 take away 8 now, which is 3. In the hundreds, 6 take away 6 is nothing. And in the thousands, 3 take away nothing is 3. So my answer is 3,032. Okay, so now we've got some decimals in the question, but we're going to follow the same method. So the first question, I've got 82.5, take away 23.61. So I'm going to line up these numbers. 
so 82.5 and I'm going to line up 23.61 so tens with tens ones with ones temps with temps and hundredths with hundredths so 82.5 has got nothing in the hundredths column I'm going to add a zero so now we're ready to take away we start with the smallest column which is the hundredths this time and I've got zero take away one I don't want to do that so I'm going to steal one of the temps and that'll be worth 10 in the hundredths 10 take away one is nine now the temps I've got four take away six again I don't want to do that so I'm going to steal one of the ones which be worth 10 in the temps. So 14 take away six is eight. The decimal point's gonna stay where it is. Now the ones, one take away three, I don't want to do. So I'll steal one of the tens and that's worth 10 in the ones. 11 take away three is eight. And seven take away two in the tens is worth five. So my answer is 58.89. And a question for you to try. So pause the video, give it a go and press play when you're ready for the answer. Okay, so 261.3 so 261.3 and I'm going to line up 29.6 so tens with tens ones with ones and temps with temps I've got nothing in the hundreds for 29.6 so I can add a zero or leave it blank okay we're going to take away now start with the smallest column which is attempts. I've got three take away six. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to steal one from the ones. And that's going to be worth 10 in the temps. So 13 take away six is seven. The decimal point stays where it is. In the ones, I've got zero take away nine. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to steal one from the tens and that's worth 10 in the ones so 10 take away 9 is 1 in the tens now 5 take away 2 is 3 and in the hundreds 2 take away nothing is 2 so my answer is 231.7 Okay, to finish up, we've got six questions for you to try. So pause the video, give them a go, and press play when you're ready to go through the answers. Okay, starting with question one, we've got 485, take away 152. So I'm going to write 485 on top. And then I'm going to line up 152 with the hundreds lined up with the hundreds, tens lined up with tens, and ones lined up with ones. So we're going to take away, start with the smallest column, the ones, five take away two, that's three. The tens, eight take away five is three. And the hundreds, four take away one is three so the answer is 333 question two 1872 so i'm going to put that on top and i'm going to take away 463 and we start with the smallest column again the ones two take away three i don't want to do so I'm going to steal one of the tens, and that's going to be worth 10 
in the ones column. So 12 take away 3, that's 9. The tens is now 6 take away 6, which is 0. The hundreds, 8 take away 4, is 4. And the thousands, 1 take away nothing, is 1. So I've got 1,409. Question 3. We've got 5,261. Take away 2,497. So starting with the smallest column, the 1s. 1 take away 7, I don't want to do. So I'll steal one of the 10s. And that's worth 10 in the ones. 11 take away 7 is 4. The 10s, 5 take away 9, I don't want to do. So I'll steal one from the hundreds. And that's worth 10 in the tens. 15 take away 9 is 6. In the hundreds, 1 take away 4, I don't want to do. So I'll steal one of the thousands. And that's worth 10 hundreds. So 11 take away 4 is 7, and 4 take away 2 is 2. So I've got 2,764. Question 4. 189 take away 13.1. So I'm lining up tens with tens, ones with ones, and temps with temps. So 189 has got nothing in the temps. So I'm going to add a zero there. So starting with the smallest column, which is our temps, I've got zero take away one. I don't want to do that. So I'll steal one of the ones, and that's worth 10 in the temps. So 10 take away 1 is 9. The decimal point stays where it is. 8 take away 3 is 5 in the 1s. The 10s, 8 take away 1 is 7. And the 100s, 1 take away nothing is 1. So we've got 175.9. Question 5. We've got 64. 0.37 take away 25.41. So start with the smallest column, the hundredths. 7 take away 1 is 6. The temps, I don't want to do 3 take away 4, so I'll steal one of the ones, which would be 10 in the temps. 13 take away 4 is 9. Decimal point stays where it is. The ones, I don't want to do three take away five. So I'll steal one of the tens, which would be worth 10 in the ones. So 13 take away five is eight. And the tens, five take away two is three. So I've got 38.96. Question 6. I've got 64.6. Take away 58.91. So 64.6 has got nothing in the hundredths. I'll add a zero. And we'll start with the smallest column, which is the hundredths. I don't want to do zero take away one. So I'm going to steal one of the temps, which is worth 10 in the hundredths. 10 take away 1 is 9. Now the temps, I've got 5 take away 9. Again, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to steal one of the 1s, which is worth 10 in the temps. 15 take away 9 is 6. Decimal point stays where it is. In the 1s, I don't want to do 3 take away 8. So I'm going to steal one of the tens and add it, and that's worth 10 on the ones. And 13 take away 8 now is 5. 
and five take away five in the tens is worth nothing. So it's zero or I can leave it blank. So my answer is 5.69.